Residents who live and play around Rainbow Ridge Park can see a change to the ravine there. Construction crews filled a dug-out area with a dirt mixture to create a man-made wetland. The pilot program diverts water from Chalk Creek to below the surface of the wetland. The goal is to cost-effectively improve the quality of the water that ends up in the Truckee River. This project is going to do for the neighborhood really is to provide us with a glimpse into how we can treat our water quality naturally using bacteria that's naturally occurring in our soils and we're just giving it a perfect home so we can hopefully since this is a pilot level study we are really using this as a test run we're hoping to see total dissolved solids lowered in Chalk Creek. Linnell says that historically this creek was dry except for a couple of spring months but that has changed with development of the Northwest Reno neighborhoods. So right now, all of our flow that we see year round is the result of irrigation waters from parks and golf courses and lawns that infiltrate into the soil and pop out at the creeks as seeps. And they carry these naturally occurring salts that are in the soils with them and into our waters. So that's what we're trying to take care of. Linnell says the wetland was designed so that bacteria in the soil will convert the sulfate in the water to hydrogen sulfide gas that will slowly seep out of the wetlands. And we know from the books and from other installations in other parts of, of the country that these technologies work. It's actually drawing from mining technology where they use wastewater ponds, bioretention systems, they use naturally occurring bacteria to treat the acid mine waste. And we're just borrowing that technology and installing a simple little bioreactor here where we're optimizing the environment, we're setting up a really good home for the bugs, and we're essentially hoping that they do a really great job for us. The city secured a Truckee River Fund grant to pay for the project. The city also partnered with JBR Environmental and a UNR student who will help monitor the downstream water. In time, the plants will grow here to camouflage the wetland, and tests will show if it is curbing pollution to the Truckee River.